Education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. These are the words of the great Nelson Mandela, and this is the inspiration behind my Beauty with a Purpose project. I have been very fortunate to have benefited from the education system of Trinidad and Tobago as well as in the United Kingdom. However, not all children are able to attend traditional schools. Children like Logan. Logan is an eight-year-old who has been battling leukemia for the past six years. His chemotherapy treatments have resulted in him being unable to attend mainstream school. The nausea, vomiting, hair loss, his depressed immune system and absent days make it impossible for him to fit into the traditional education system. Not only did his illness threaten his health, it also threatened his future by denying him the benefit of an education. This is when a special woman stepped forward to make a difference not only in Logan's life, but also the life of so many other children in Trinidad and Tobago. Marie Colthrust is Logan's mom and his hero. I have been a teacher for 14 years and being in the system, I saw how many children did not fit into mainstream because of various circumstances. Some had autism, some children were like Logan who was sick. And that's when I decided that I needed to open a safe space for these children. And a place where they could be themselves, a place where they could learn at their own pace, and where I could give them a future. This is how Marie began her homeschool. When I met Marie, she was now the hero of 15 exceptional kids. A variety of children, each with their own unique and sometimes heartbreaking stories. Many of the children look just like regular kids, but in reality, they suffer from very serious medical and emotional issues. She and the 15 children occupied a small, cramped, single classroom which was only available for a few hours every day as it was a shared space. This did not allow for the full development of these young minds. Meeting the amazing children and hearing their stories inspired me to want to make a difference in their lives and this is how the Purple Pine Foundation was formed. Our vision is to help extraordinary children become extraordinary leaders for a more socially just, inclusive and equitable world. The first step was to find a new space that would adequately accommodate the present needs of the foundation while also allowing expansion due to the daily requests of desperate parents seeking an alternative educational route. I was able to obtain a property in the picturesque northwestern town of Diego Martin. The property was but a shell and required a lot of work and finances in order to transform it into an appropriate learning facility. Using my advocacy training and social networking skills, I was able to reach out to corporate Trinidad and Tobago who were very happy to be part of this amazing cause. We had a short deadline in order to try and get the space ready for the new school term. Cleaning, removal of rubble, construction, plumbing, electrical, landscaping and painting all had to be done before we could move in the new furniture and equipment. The kids, their parents, friends and volunteers from all over the country worked tirelessly and accomplished nothing short of a miracle in such a short space of time. The Purple Pine Foundation is everything to a parent like me because it provides Noah with an environment that he can come and he can be himself, firstly. He can learn, he can learn at his own pace, his teachers understand his strengths and his weaknesses and they help him to meet every struggle that he comes across. This Purple Pine Foundation is everything to not just me, but to all of these children that are here. It has given them the opportunity to meet their struggles head on and to excel beyond them. The Purple Pine Foundation is the first of its kind in Trinidad and Tobago. My dream is to see it expand by opening many more centers throughout the country so that no child is ever left behind. With this initiative, I hope to galvanize policymakers in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean and beyond to create an inclusive and transformative learning environment for extraordinary children. I want to hear more conversations about inclusion and intersectionality, see more changes and feel the love that I know that we as a nation are capable of giving, 
not only to these children, but the thousands more like them who live in similar circumstances. These children have taught me what it means to be truly brave and strong. I am Miss Trinidad and Tobago, and I am Beauty with a Purpose.